Hi my loves, welcome back to another Ask a Little Witch Pick a Card reading. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Kerry and I have a special connection to the spiritual world. I'm a witch, I practice doing everything with kindness, I'm super passionate about astrology and the paranormal and today I'm going to be pulling some cards to see what your life purpose might be. So if these sorts of videos interest you, please give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more witchy woo woo. So before we jump into the reading, obviously we have to prepare for the session and I've set some reminders to remind you of before we start. So just pause the uh, recording now and you'll be able to have a quick skim through of a few reminders before we jump into the reading itself. Okay, so I am perfectly aware that I have not told you yet which option is which, but I want you to get used to getting into your feeling self. So... What I want you to do is just take a few moments. So I want you to close your eyes and keep them closed until I say open. Okay, so eyes closed. Now, what we're going to be doing is doing a couple of deep breaths for a series of three counts. So we're going to go in for three, hold for three, and then release for three. And then we're going to repeat that three times. So while doing this, you can obviously ask for guidance, you know, the guidance that you need or that you want in regards to what your life purpose is, potential career, like avenues that you could explore. Um, and remember that not every option is going to be 100% all about you. These are general readings, okay? But there should be a message or a little wisdom or a little nugget of something within each option that can give you the insight that you need. So just be thinking about life purpose, thinking about career or whatever guidance that you need. And just really hope, it really hopes, it really helps to really focus on um, your intention of what it is that you want to gain through watching this pick a card reading. So, eyes closed. I want you to breathe in for three counts, hold for three counts, now release for three counts. Again, breathe in for three, hold for three, breathe out for three. Last time. Breathe in for three, hold for three, and then out for three. Now, when you do open your eyes, the one that you're drawn towards first is the one that's meant for you. Okay, so now let's show you which option is which. So now you've selected your option, you know which one's yours. If you just pop open the information box below this video, where all the information that you might want is, um, you can find the timestamps to jump ahead to which option is your option. So I will see you in a jiffy. Hello to all you technically gifted folks who selected option number one. So with this reading, you can layer it to your own astrological birth chart, which you can get free of charge at www.astro.com. And what I mean by layer it is that, for example, with your option, you have a lot of Mercury coming through. So with the Magician, and then you also have the Hermit, which as you can see is um, obviously Virgo related. So you can have a look in your own astrological birth chart to see where the signs of Virgo, Gemini or Mercury fall within your own chart, or any aspects that are being made to your Mercury for a little bit more insight. Honestly, it will just blow your mind, like how these things kind of trigger. If you have no idea about what a birth chart is or anything like that, just skip that step. Like, I don't want to confuse you or think that you're not going to gain anything from this um, from this option. It's just that everything, I mean, I've pulled astrological cards, so, you know. Anyway, so there's definitely a running theme with your option of Mars energy, okay? Because you have the first house, you have Aries, and you have Mars, okay? So I would say that if you selected option number one, then you have the criteria to really be an entrepreneur, you know, someone who runs the show. You can use yourself, your image, your brand to promote a message that is important to you. Like, that's really what I'm seeing with this option. I do feel like your option involves being of service to others, however, okay? It's not all about the money, but it's doing something that is truly meaningful to you. Aries is a pioneer, okay, so you're going to be walking your own path. You're not here to follow, but you're here to lead, 
okay so everything about your option is about leading the way and with virgo this could and by virgo like i'm looking at the hermit as well so um this could be like it could be surrounding health or fitness or lifestyle field you know you want to see where virgo and mercury fall within your own chart um, because that can add a little bit more of a, a personal touch to this this message now the magician the magician is the alchemist okay so you have all the skills that you need to make something happen now you obviously like there is an element here about you needing to just stand out of your own way or quit waiting for others to give you permission to do something because when i see um the eight card here i do feel like there there is a little bit of travel okay i do feel like there is movement uh i do feel like um I feel like movement is likely key for you with whatever it is that you're going to be doing and especially when it comes to like your life mission now mercury mercury is all about sharing and spreading a message it's information based it's teaching it's travel it's communication it's self-expression and i think that when you're really passionate about something you're going to be self-motivated okay so I mean, I could see you working online, sharing your expertise, sharing yourself maybe, even teaching people a physical skill set. You could be teaching people from all over, okay, because of that eight card, um, which is why I kind of feel like the internet could be the platform space that you need to reach your audience. Now, I'm not saying that everyone who selected this option is going to be on YouTube, um, but times are changing and you can kind of notice this that more and more people are driving their business their work online um, because that's where everybody is interacting with this day and age everyone's interacting with the internet and that's where you can gain a wider range of, of an audience right you're no longer limited to your immediate environment you can connect with people from all walks of life so this could very well be about you being an inspirational speaker you could even be a beauty guru okay a social influencer of sorts um and i say this because like the first house okay the first house aries it's you it's your identity it's your image it's your look it's your appearance you know you are the brand you know you you are your life mission you know but with this virgo with the hermit energy it is being about being of service, okay? It's not all about you, okay? Whatever it is that you do is helping or servicing other people. Like, you're helping others to fix things, to correct things, to improve things, to make things better. And with the Mars, okay, with the Mars energy, Mars is like a warrior type of a vibe, okay? So it states that your life mission is all about you being the driving force needing a lot of energy and willpower to keep things going mars is also technical skills okay the warrior archetype is skilled in the form of battle strategy okay they're they're skilled gunsmen they're trained in combat they're survivalists you know they're skilled in languages reading people's body cues great under pressure or explosive situations so with what it is that you do you have a skill or a set of skills that makes you unique and good for whatever it is that this job is, this this role that you're going to be playing. Now, of course, Virgo and the Hermit, you know, you may work behind the scenes, which is why YouTube, the internet is such a great platform because, you know, you're essentially doing what it is that you do behind the scenes, right? You're sharing your message through a camera, through the internet. Um, but as well, it doesn't have to be about you being a social influencer online, Instagram, wherever. It could even just be about you being a writer. You know, you could be a technical engineer because Mars is an engineer. You could work with electrics, metals, making jewellery. You could be a healer, maybe a health expert or a nutritionist. You could work in marketing, you know, a software engineer, uh, maybe even like a, a research expert maybe even leading into like biochemistry or some sort of scientific fields. You know, you could be a true academic or, you know, your life mission could involve using machinery and gadgets and tools to do your life's work. Tools are not just hammer and nails, okay? 
They could be cameras, scissors, lighting, technology, brushes, paints. They could be anything, okay? They're an extension of yourself. Um, but what I do feel like if you selected this option with the baby and the high priestess, is that you might need to think back to your childhood as, you know, that, that could very well be a key to finding your life purpose, you know. What did you want to do when you were little? Um, what was you interested in? What did you show talent in? It could be that what you do involves children in some way, either working for or with children or with with even like serving a younger generation, a younger audience, you know, the high priestess is very much about you paying attention to your intuition. I mean, the cards are very matter of fact, you know, they're very practical, they're very logical, they're very skillful. So if you can blend spirituality, your intuition with what it is that you do, you could really be a true pioneer in your chosen field. And I was actually thinking the other day that if science stopped trying to prove that the spiritual realm was false and void, you know, and instead tried to prove the opposite, that we could be in a very different place or space right now. Um, so I really do feel like you're a skilled professional and that you could be in the public face, you know, you could be the public face of whatever it is that you do. You could truly help those that you meet in this lifetime. You know, putting your skills could to basically good use is gonna bring you a lot of joy and fulfillment but it's also gonna help other people you know but it is about putting yourself out there and that could feel like a bit of a risk wherever mars is it's a bit risky right um because you never know and yeah like this is what i'm getting for you now if you do want to plan a better year than this one that's just gone then october 31st i open up the pre-order for the complete 29 ebook guide with a video as well for the entire year of 2019 and that will be up on the website links are going to be in the info, info box down below and um, so thank you so much for watching let me know what you think your life mission is below and if you've decoded any personal messages within this message and until next time remember that you have all the magic that you need right within you so much love and i will speak to you soon bye Hi, hello to all of you guys who selected option number two. So I've already mentioned it in the previous option as well, but with this reading, feel free to layer it to your own astrological birth chart. Now, if you want to get your own astrological birth chart, you can get it free of charge at www.astro.com. Now, what I mean by layer it is that here, for example, with your option, you have the North Node. Now, the North Node looks like a bit of a horseshoe in astrology. And then we also have the 10th house, which is obviously pretty funny because those tend to be the areas or the places that I look to um, when looking at a person's life mission within a birth chart reading for clients. So if you check and see where your own North Node is placed within your astrological birth chart, you can also see where the sign of Sagittarius falls as well. And that can give you a little bit of added insight to make this reading even more personal to you. So that being said, I definitely feel like with this option, that there is a strong theme that leads into activism. Okay, animal welfare, agriculture, farming in general. Okay, and I would say that those who selected this option at some point in their lives will be led into some form of philanthropy. And I feel like here there is a little bit of a resistance with your with your life path. And, um, you know, that's being said because of we obviously have the five of wands, you know, which could be about conflict of minds with regards to what it is that you do, what, you know, society, like social, economical, or maybe even like geological changes that you feel, you know, inspired to make an impact and um, that in, in turn will create like a change. But the North Node, the North Node that's come through with the Karma card is um, a passion. It's an obsession point within a chart, okay? So the fact that this has come through here is that with the North Node, we often want what that North Node has to offer. 
is definitely pointing to a point of interest within the chart. It's the destiny. It's what you're here to learn in this lifetime. It's the dream. And the North Node is, is like a high point, okay? Um, well, I'm saying high point because we've got the 10th house as well, okay? And so the North Node and the high point of the chart, which is the 10th house or the MC, okay, that links to your soul mission in life. Well, the soul mission is more your MC, the midheaven. Okay, the 10th house is more about society and um, your career. It's, you know, your public recognition and it's about being impactful. So when looking at the cards, I see you guys as people who really care about social things, okay? About global warming or animal welfare or improving the quality of life for all humans on earth, you know? projects that might interest you could be about rooftop gardens and how that could ideally you know cool the planet right down and even like help create like sustainable organic food growth that can even feed the homeless I can't remember where it was but there is like this organization that's trying to get like large corporations and like factory owners to have rooftop gardens and because obviously you know, the way in which we live nowadays, you know, this high consumerism, um, if all of these big, large factories planted rooftop gardens, it effectively would cool the planet right down. Um, and then there's lots of talks on how, like, you know, to go that one step further about, you know, planting, like, sustainable food sources, which can be donated to homeless shelters, which can help feed the homeless and, you know, going that extra mile. Um, but anyway, I'm not saying that everyone who selected this option will be all like environmentally like interested or whatever. It's just one of the things that really jumped out when I first like saw these, saw the cards and looked at the option. Um, but I do feel like bringing issues to the masses to raise awareness and make a change, you know, because Sagittarius is a very giving, it's a very caring sign who truly wants to make the world a better place. Sagittarius is about experience, okay, it's ambition, it's the drive to learn as much as you can about something and then finding the solutions to those said issues. Now, lots of people, and you see this within like actors and actresses, you know, um, who have Sagittarius on the MC, is that they use their, their fame, their platform, you know, as a way to you know, do a lot of philanthropy, to do a lot of, you know, charity work and to be like ambassadors for causes that, you know, are near and dear to them. So, you know, it's about using what it is that you have to create a better world, right? So obviously, again, I'm not saying that everyone's going to be into that. It's just something that really like came through. Um, as well, it could be that maybe an experience that you had while well, maybe maybe like traveling Asia um and the reason why I'm saying Asia is because the card Asia has come up so you could have experienced something within like the Asian culture um that gave you this kind of paradigm shift you know your perspective on things changed and so now you feel enlightened and passionate and inspired to make a difference and I've seen it who there's a guy i can't remember his name it's adam something um he has this charity called Prem promise of a pencil and when he went to india um he gave someone a pencil and it was like the most like for us it's just a pencil right um but it like transformed this little girl's um life you know um that she had this and so it's kind of like just it makes you think about things like in a completely new light like to us it's just a pencil but to them it was like this amazing thing now i'm not saying like obviously well i'm just going to continue on i'm just going to continue on otherwise i'll get on to a big long ramble but the north node as i said is a passionate point okay it's a point that you're meant to explore and here you know it could link to travel because Sagittarius is an explorer it's adventurous it's traveling okay it's about seeing the bigger picture in this lifetime so you can even make a name for yourself in doing so you know if you travel for work in maybe even you're likely to be very well informed and knowledgeable about things you know this can be you studying and learning all that you can about something and then making maybe like 
an innovative breakthrough to help society, which is obviously the 10th house. Um, so I'm calling this, this option the activist, the traveller, the explorer, someone who dives into other cultures and learns from all that you experience and then shares that with those that you meet. The 10th house is of a public stature, okay? You work, you might work in tourism, you could be a lifestyle blogger, um, you could be a journalist, you know, you could be a real world photographer or um, working in some, like you can be a creator of sorts. Now the moon card, the Pisces card, okay, is very creative, it's caring, it's nurturing, it's about home and family and yet tying that with the 10th house, you care about everyone. Sagittarius is one of those signs that embodies a caring about all people. It's relatable and it's spiritual. And with the star card as well with the moon, you know, you could be a musician, you could be an actress, an actor, someone within the public eye with what it is that you do. Now, Aquarius kind of comes with this star card, okay, within the tarot. So this is about having a following. You know, these people make friends wherever they go. They care very much like Sagittarius cares. There's still this innovation here at, at its best, okay? It's unique, it's different. Um, but it's sharing what it is that you do with a large group of people. You could work online with the star card, but with the five of wands, not everyone will like what it is that you have to say because people dislike change. People like to feel safe, they like to feel comfortable. And so with what it is that you do, there might be this sort of rawness that might awaken people to things that they just don't want to think about because it makes them feel guilty. And the thing that just jumped into my head there was veganism. You know, a lot of people get very defensive or they feel very guilty. Like when someone says that, oh, I'm vegan or like they start talking about veganism and all of this stuff. There's a natural defense mechanism that some people have. Some people feel guilty about, you know, and I'm not saying that to make anyone guilty whether or not you are a vegan or not, okay? But on the other side, let's just look at it from another perspective, you could use your art, your craft to inspire and influence others to be better, to do better, to believe in the fact that they too can have their dreams realized because Sagittarius is this dream, okay? It's your ambition. It's really what you want to do in life. And the fact that you have the North Node and then we have the 10th house, this is about you fulfilling your dreams. And this card coming up is just this indication to say that if you selected this option, you know, your dreams really can come true. You just have to start making the steps towards it, okay? Um, I would also say that no matter with what it is that you do, you will be in the public eye in some way, okay? You need that public, you need that platform. Um, I also do feel like travel is a big part of what it is that you do. And with the animals, you could work in um, a wide range of places throughout your life to do with animals. You could experience life in a sanctuary, perhaps even working in Asia. You could be a zoologist. Um, any of like the animal um, types of jobs. Now, zoologists just like instantaneously um, came through. Um, you could work in sustainable living, organic farming, learning about agriculture. You could work as a healer even, you know, maybe even a healer for animals, a veterinarian or something, or I don't know. Like you might be very protective or guarding over animals. You might work in the great outdoors. You could be a gardener. You could work on reservations in the woods. What are those people called? Uh park rangers or something we don't have those here like in the uk but i'm pretty sure i've seen movies and they call them park rangers uh, comment down below if i'm wrong um but anything that's outdoorsy anything that's about taking care of the world of trees and the environment and animals and you know real life people as well um but it's about taking care of the planet it's about seeing the bigger picture and we're already seeing like lots of people pop up with all of this plastic and going you know plastic free and stuff um, but yeah, as well as that, with the Asia card coming up, which is kind of rare because, you know, um, to get an actual place that's kind of being emphasised here, 
You can even have like very powerful experiences in Asia. You know, you might be drawn towards Asian cultures. You know, there's a very caring and protective quality to the work that you're here to do in this lifetime. Or it could kind of blend into more spiritual. You know, you could be a yoga teacher, for example, if not a public figure. You might be a volunteer at an animal sanctuary, adopting animals or helping heal an injured animals. You, you might even like start up your own charity or an own cause that you're passionate about. But I definitely feel like your life path is very much linked to your career in this lifetime. So if you want to plan a better year than this current one that we're in, then October 31st, I um, put up my pre-order for your complete 29 ebook guide with a video into the entire year of 2019. That will be up at the website. All links are down in the information box below. Um, thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments down below what you think your life mission is and if I jogged any sort of points of interest within your option and until next time remember that you have all the magic that you need right within you and yeah I will see you in the next video much love bye hello to everybody who selected option number three so I've already mentioned it in the previous option so I'm going to mention it again here you can layer um layer this reading to your own astrological birth chart if you don't have your birth chart you can get your birth chart for free at www.astro.com and what i mean by layer it is that for example with your option you have the 12th house and neptune so looking to see where maybe pisces and neptune or the sign that falls on your 12th house um, as well as looking at Mars and Saturn, you know, because they're, they're very much prevalent within, within your reading. That could give you a more personal insight into, you know, your area of um, career. You know, what it is that you're here to do in this lifetime. So just have a little look and see what sign falls in your 12th house, where Neptune falls within your chart and Mars and Saturn. And um, that can just add a little bit more of a, a personal touch to this reading. So what I feel like with you guys who selected this option um, is that your life mission could be linked to doing something in a very Saturnian way. And what I mean by that is you can work within society norms, okay, like schooling, religion, the government, banking, things that have been around for a really long time. You might find that your life path is not really discovered fully until after the age of 28 to 32, depending on when your Saturn return happens, which usually is around 30, usually. Um, but yeah, things tend to kind of, um, tend to be on the slow front, okay? Because Saturn is a planet that wants you to build strong, firm and stable foundations. Now, some careers that could be linked to Saturn could be things like construction, building, architecture, law, uh, uh, what is that when you make beer, like brewery or liquor making, uh, perfumery could very well be Saturnian, mines. Um, when I'm so talking about perfumery, if your Saturn makes an aspect to uh, Venus, that could very well, um, could indicate perfumery, sorry, just wanted to mention that. Mines could also come into, um, saturn type things as well as like crystals um anything that's underground mechanics oil petrol iron uh what else is saturn um working with metal um farmers and agriculture becoming a, a ceo or a manager but wherever saturn is involved you know that you will end up working long hours because it's slow work okay it takes time for things to come together so when you think about all of those jobs that i just mentioned those things all take a really long time to master a really long time to bear results right you can't just whip up a few things and say there you go that is you know the perfume or you can't just be like i'm gonna add this and this you know when you're making beer when you're making lager or alcohol or whatever field that you're in it takes time like if you're in building and construction like the foundations the preparation that goes into you know building something 
everything with Saturn takes a really long time for things to come together. So like big projects, okay, are going to take a little while before you receive the payoff. Now, you might as well work behind the scenes because we obviously have that 12th house. You know, what you do may require privacy and seclusion. Again, everything that I mentioned happens a little bit in private, right? There's a fencing off. There's a things that happen below ground or behind closed doors or, you know, anything that you do. There is security, okay? There is this doing something within like a secluded area so you might even work for a large or foreign corporation or organization you could work or be of service to those who live far away or working in foreign lands or for or for like foreign companies or people you could even work um, in a foreign retreat or like a secluded place um, with cancer coming through as the third astrological um, astrological card this could be about hotel work, okay? Hotels, when you think about them, like they, they're built to last, right? They have a long standing reputation. It takes time for your, the reputation of a hotel to build up, um, to build a hotel even. And like Saturn is like old things, right? So when we're blending this old thing with Cancer, which is home, it's family. And in the 12th house, you know, the 12th house is hotels, it's relaxation, right? Um, this could very well be about hotel work, you know, running your own hotel, having your own hotel. Um, cancer's ruled by the moon, which could be related to home and family or even like psychology. So as well, we also pulled the card of support. So this could be an advisor or a counsellor, um, a hypnotherapist, a past life regressionist or something like that. You could use your intuition and your creativity with what it is that you do. You could effectively do any of those things, okay? You could be a philosopher, you know, or a writer because we do have the writing card that's come through. But your life path will get more clear with the more experience that you gain. You know, your life path could be linked to a family member, a legacy, following on in someone else's footsteps. Now, the hangman, the hangman reminds me of judge, jury and executioner, okay? So you could very well work within like the police or uh, the legal system, the law field. And, you know, you could reach a very high position of prestige. Um, what else can I say? It's, it's obviously like the hangman is a Neptunian card. So we've got like the Pisces coming through here, okay? Um, and, and the 12th house. So it could very well be about hotels, stopovers, you know, while people take time out before they continue on their journeys. You could help people understand confusing situations. You know, you could be a decision maker or present options to people. You could be in property, you know, that sort of a business. The hangman has a certain waiting before you can move onwards vibe about it. You know, this could be border controls. This could be airport security. You know, there is a protective quality. Like I said, security is coming in. Like I am seeing that. And it's almost like there's a stopping point before like people can like continue on almost. You know, you could work in, in some sort of historical field, presenting facts about things that happened. You could be in a spiritual or religious field as well. Um, I just feel like maybe your life path, okay, it could unfold when you become married or when your finances are more stable or established. Things are just going to slot into place for you. But with the Tower card and the Seven of Swords, I actually see this as a person who might also deal with the unexpected, sudden events, you know. And they kind of uncover truths behind things. So policing, investigating, the judge, the lawyer, those things really do come in strong with those cards. Again, like a, a psychiatrist, um, uh, what else? Like a hypnotherapist, um, like anyone that's kind of bringing something hidden up out into the surface, you know, Um I mean, maybe even like working in the paranormal. I mean, that's a bit of a, a stretch because usually Saturn's very, you know, 
it's very uh, factual. <laughs> Um, but you know, with that twelfth house energy and with the tower, these are like things that kind of just suddenly happen. Um, you could be someone who definitely works in reconstruction. You could do that business where people buy old properties, they do them up and then they sell them. I think they call it like flipping houses. I think that's what it's called. I don't quote me on that. I don't know. Um, you could be someone who goes into companies. You make lots of improvements to those companies and then you sell them and then you move forward onto something else, okay? It's about restructuring. It's about strengthening something. Um, you know, you could be in mining. You could, you know, have ties to the coal industry or you can just work in like a resource field, you know, the digging to uncover the things that are buried beneath. Um, the tower, obviously, the tower cards shake things up. You could be, uh, what are they called? I want to say a meteorologist, a meteorologist. Is that what they're called? I don't know if that's what it is that, that, that it's called. But basically, they, they monitor, I can't get my words out. They monitor the anomalies within, um, within like, the, the environment, right? And so, you could do that really effectively. Like, you monitor things that are... What can I say? Like, you know, people who monitor the weather, like earthquakes and stuff like that. Or, like, you could be a skilled, um, I don't know what they're called, but they diffuse bombs. Um, but yeah, basically, you can diffuse potentially dangerous situations to save lives. And I guess as well, you could be a great therapist, you know, because the tower, it's shaking things out into the open, okay? There's a healing and there is this this rebuilding so i mean that's kind of like what i get for you guys um and if you would like to plan a better year than this current year then october 31st at my website i am putting up the pre-orders for the complete um the complete guide to 2019 with the video that goes into the entire year covering all areas of life um so you can find all the links in the information box below um so yeah thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments down below if you know what you think that your life mission might be if you have any sort of added insights to something um that you're already contemplating doing and until next time know that you have all the magic that you need right within you so much love and i will speak to you all soon bye Hi, hello to all of you who selected option number four, and I've already mentioned this with all of the other ones, so I might as well mention it again here, but with this reading, you can layer it to your own astrological birth chart, which you can get free of charge at www.astro.com, and what I mean by layer it is that for you, for example, um, the moon is very prevalent within within this within this reading so if you look to where your moon falls within your own chart look at the sign any aspects that can give you a more personal message as to what your life purpose might be or might include um so what i get with your life mission and your life purpose with this option is that it has everything to do with the moon which relates to your emotions your childhood the past the mother children or mother or fatherhood it's nurturing and it's family it's building a home and it's connecting to your roots okay now i mean with the sun and sagittarius playing out through um through the temperance card and the nine of pentacles i see you being a professor a teacher but it feels more higher level than you know teaching like young children and I also kind of feel like publishing books, you know, creative self-expression are all very much coming into play alongside relationships, partnerships, love, marriage, especially with the spouse card and the seventh house. Now, for some of you, for some of you, it could be about finding the one, starting to build a family, laying down those roots, and that could very much be a part of your soul mission in this lifetime. And for others of you, or just to add on top of that, it could also be about sharing your experiences to the public in some way, you know, in a way that can motivate and inspire and move people to make positive growth within their own life, 
when it comes to, you know, their history, their relationships, romance and friendships, okay? So clearly books are seen with this option, but also maybe consulting, you know, taking on one-to-one clients and, you know, really making a powerful impact to couples, even to those who are single and struggle with relationships or things that might have happened a long time ago. It's, a little bit like looking at this option it could be about being a spiritual life coach it could be about being a motivational speaker um on relationships and building long lasting fulfilling you know friendships and relationships it's healing because pisces okay it's creative and it's intuitive and it could definitely like strive back to maybe an experience that you had a long time ago you know and using that experience as a way to coach and to help others now the sun in in tarot is very much about storytelling it's fun okay it's fun it's working with people it's leading them or guiding them um as 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 we have pisces here so when i'm using the term guiding I'm talking about Pisces, okay? Whereas obviously the sun is very Leo-like, it's, it's about leading. But with the Pisces blend here, it's about guiding people. Now with the temperance card, it could very much be about being a mediator, a couples therapist, a sex therapist, a person who might even work with families in general. Temperance is about reaching solutions through listening first and then helping others to see each viewpoint. It could be definitely as well, we can link this to anthropology. You know, this might be a topic of interest to you. You could be a healer, you could be a psychologist, or even with Pisces, you could do some other like spiritual practice within your practice, like tapping. I can't remember what it's called. Is it EFT or I might be getting that wrong. Um, But that tapping thing or um, what they called subliminals or aromatherapy. You know, that could be something that you could incorporate within your practice. You could be a masseuse or a Reiki practitioner as well. Um, With the Nine of Pentacles, uh, I just feel as though you're very talented with what it is that you do. Like, there's a natural gift ability here, you know. So your life mission is in using these talents in your work. The Nine of Pentacles also reminds me of university, okay? Like a higher recognition to what it is that you do like a professor or like going to maybe get gaining higher levels of education and having those credentials, you know, in your office or whatever. Um, I mean, you might even be drawn into living in different countries or cultures than the one of your birthplace because you've got the travel or leaving card, okay? So this could be due to partner's work that you support. You know, you might have to move around. It could be that your clients are from all over. And so traveling and and basically experiencing different cultures is something that you're here to experience, of which in turn adds to your life mission's work. Now, with the spouse card, I feel like there's obviously a story to tell because, you know, this can be the support that was given that even helped you to do like to discover your life's work, you know, and um, through a long term serious relationship, committed relationship, perhaps your spouse, your partner inspired you to do the work that it is that you you do, you know. Um, but we also have teaching and we have books for your life purpose cards. Um, and that pretty much speaks for themselves, really, you know, it's through your creative expression that you can help to inspire, motivate and heal those who who reach your work. Um, yeah, I mean, teaching is teaching, right? You can teach people, there's a teaching quality to what it is that you do. And you can do that through books, through education. You don't even have to do like, I don't know, like I'm feeling like books, ebooks, um, sharing your wisdom, your knowledge, your information in some way. Um, so if you want to plan a better year than this current one, then October 31st at my website, all links are down in the information box. I put up the complete ebook guide to 2019 with the video that goes into the entire year of 2019. The pre-orders will go up on Halloween. And um, so that being said, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think your life, what your life mission is in the information box down below. And until next time, remember that you have all the magic that you need right within you. So much love and I will speak to you all soon. 
Bye. Hi, hello to all of you who selected option number five. And I'm going to mention it again as I have done with all of the other readings. You can layer this reading because I have, you know, poured and I am incorporating astrology within this within this reading. So you can layer it to your own astrological birth chart. If you don't have your own astrological birth chart, you can get yours for free at www.astro.com. Now, what I mean by layer it is that, for example, within your option, you have the fifth house. You have Leo and you also have the South Node. So find out, you know, where your fifth house is, what sign it is, if there's any planets in your fifth house. Look to see where Leo falls within your chart and look to see where your South Node falls. Because these can all be points and indicators that can help you with um, your own. It's kind of just making this reading a little bit more personal. Let's just say that. So what I do feel about your life path is that it either links to your childhood or it's going to link to your to a past life that you've had. So this could involve children, okay? It can involve romance, creativity. You could be a teacher of sorts. Gemini is the sign of skills and hands. And, you know, you also have the world card, which could be linked to teaching in faraway places. Um, or even like tutoring online, you know? You also have the family card as well as the author card. So perhaps you write about your family or your upbringing, you know, you're sharing stories and experiences in regards to that. It'll be something that you're passionate about, though, with the fifth house, because this is what you're, you know, this is what you create. OK, this is something that means a lot to you. Um, it's your creative center. It's what inspires you. It's like your inner child. OK, and for those who selected this option, I'm seeing that maybe. You're about to embark on a new journey now because the world card is like a completion, okay? It could be that you've become a master of your field. You've gained like a lot of experience within a certain area and now you're here to kind of, you know, to become this like perfect teacher, you know, to pass down, you know, all of your, your knowledge, your wisdom onto others. And when the world card comes up, I often feel that it links to travel, going overseas or something, you know, and with this author vibe, I do see you traveling and meeting people from all over who can inspire you, okay, you know, these people are going to, are going to basically inspire your, like, your experiences, and it's going to add to the wisdom that you already have within you. Now, the strength card links to Leo, and Leo is the sun, okay, it's all about you, which within astrology does actually link to career, it's the ego self, it's our identity, it's what we usually resonate with most within our chart, simply because it's the most visible thing, okay, it's the sun, so what you do requires strength of self, okay, to share something of yourself with the world, right, we've got the world card, the world card in some cases links to the planet Saturn, which is both like status and success and career but I also look to Saturn to see you know what will stand the test of time and this is something that will outlive you your work here the books if you're an author what it is that you create will be read long after you know your lifetime you know so and that's why as well authors Authors, if you look at their birth charts, you know, the ones that we still talk about nowadays, they often have aspects with Saturn within within their charts. Now, obviously, not all of this is going to relate to all of the people listening to this video, but there are themes here about travel and transportation, okay, because we've got the transportation card and we've got the world chart, the world card, which links to travel. Then we have Gemini with the author, okay, and those elements link to writing and sharing your experiences, you know, and we also have the fifth house and we have family and the fifth house can link to children, but the fifth house is also our passions and our creativity and with the south node, you know, you're, I guess in a way, the south node, you're taking that and then you're sharing it with the audience, the masses, okay? Because the North Node will be bipolar opposite in the 11th house because the 5th house is opposite the 11th. 
So you're taking that stuff and it's not about keeping it all to yourself, you know. You might be one of those artists who creates lots of art, who doesn't share it with anybody. But there is a need to kind of share it, okay. There's a need to bring it out so that people can actually see and view your work. In some cases, um, this is a bit dark, but, um, well it's not dark, but you know like Anne Frank, how like her diary was found um, after, like she'd passed away. It kind of feels a little bit like that. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, the Nazis killing loads of people. I'm not talking about that element. But it's the fact that your work, your your life's work, your life mission can be shared and talked about long after, like, you, you've, you've lived, right? And I definitely feel like with what it is that you do, a part of your life mission is going to require you to have faith and to have trust. So maybe there could be some links to journalism as well with the two of swords for a career or a life path. It can link to, it can link to be about being, seeing things from both angles, okay? Because usually generically, like the, uh, the two of swords has a blindfold over her eyes. It's about trusting in your instincts to make the right choice, having faith and having trust that you can really do this, right? So in terms of like a career with the two of swords cards, it can be about seeing things from both angles. It's in search for the truth. It could even be as simple as to say you have two potential life paths or careers in this lifetime and you get to choose which option that you want to dive into. So this is what I get for you guys. If you would like to plan a better year than the one that we are currently in, then October 31st, the pre-order for your complete 2019 ebook guide with a video that goes into the entire year will be up at the website all links are down in the information box below so thank you so much for watching let me know down below in the comments what you think or what you feel your life mission is um, and until next time remember that you have all of the magic that you need right within you so thank you so much and i will speak to you all soon bye Hi guys, for all of you who selected option number six, I'm just going to mention it here as well, but you can layer this reading with your own astrological birth chart, which you can get for free at www.astro.com. Now what I mean by layer it is that I'm incorporating astrology within this reading. So for example, for this option, you have Jupiter and Pluto here. So looking to see where those planets might fall within your own chart and looking at aspects and things like that, that can offer you a bit more of a, a personal insight to give you a little bit of added um, guidance with regards to your life purpose and life mission. So what I do get with this option is that you are somebody who is a sharer of wisdom and truth. Jupiter is a planet that is joyous, it's fun, it's educational, he is wise and he's generous and he explores and adventures, okay, in the aim of experience and seeking answers. Now, with the Scorpio card and with the judgment, which, you know, has the essence of Pluto, Scorpio's ruler, and then justice, which links to Libra, you could very well be led towards the justice system, the law fields. You could be a person who fights for others' freedoms, okay? You could be a person who works in journalism. You could be in high positions of politics even, you know, Jupiter is a teacher, a traveller, uh, an explorer. And when you have the sixth house, it's often about being of service to others in some way. So if not a teacher, then maybe a social worker, a legal advisor, a doctor, you could help people with their addictions, because we're talking Scorpio here, helping them through their dark periods, through a transformation or a change. You could help them through a crisis in their lives. You could be an advisor in health or in medicine. With Jupiter card, you know, this could be a, a consultant. You could be a mediator, a lawyer, a solicitor, a judge, someone who works within the law and justice system. Justice is about balance and fairness. And so you could even work in a financial field. But I mean, I feel like whatever it is that you do, it's going to bring you joy. Okay, it's going to br bring you some sort of meaning and purpose. And personally, I don't find numbers to be, you know, meaningful. But some people are totally into that. People love numbers because it's universal. It's understood by 
all people, right? It's there's, there's no language barrier when it comes to numbers. Um, so some people are really passionate about money and financial things. Um, but I just feel like I just feel like with what it is that you do, you're going to be enjoying it. So yeah, you know, some people who have selected this option might love working with money and advising people with regards to that. But with the judgment card, this is purposeful work that you do. You're helping people through periods of trauma or crisis. You could be a healer, like a paramedic, right? Like a paramedic, um, you know, being like Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter is like this angelic presence in amongst you know this traumatic situation right um so you're like the angel that puts things back together judgment card is a very hard energy but with jupiter you know you're shining a big bright light in there and you're improving things judgment could totally be linked to like being a psychologist being as obviously we are talking pluto here the pluto card you could even be um legal counsel or something like that with the eight card um it's it's movement okay it's movement um so there could be lots to do with your everyday life you know and i say every day because we've pulled the sick the sixth house so every day for you is going to be different every day for you is going to be fun because it's not going to be boring every day is going to be different right um so that's going to be linked to your option and it could also I mean, it can also require you to think on your feet, um, you know, things happening very quickly um, with that eight card, you know, as well with like all of this transformation and Scorpio energy, it's like things happening like one thing after another. And so you're having to think on your feet, you're having to react and to make the right judgment calls, right? It's It feels like movement and traveling is linked here as well that's going to be a part of your your working role or your life mission and like paramedic just it really jumps out like it really jumps out for me as well as like maybe someone working in a law field if I'm honest now with the options card I feel like you have options when it comes to where it is that you decide to specialize within I feel like within your career you know, you you have options, you know, as to where you want to specialise. Um, like, for example, if you decide on law, you know, there's so many different forms of law, you know, um, there's criminal law, there's, you know, family law, there's, I mean, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, like, but I know that there's a lot that kind of goes into that, you know, so there's many forms of law in which you can practise, you know, um, or medicine, again, lots of different areas in which you can dive into, you know, um, especially like even like within like law enforcement, again, you can go into different areas. So I feel like you can study one thing, but that one thing is going to branch out into so many different areas, right? You have choices here and it's saying that you have many avenues to explore um, and that for sure, you know, it's not going to be boring. You're not going to, it's not going to tire you. Although saying that, I do feel like this option can be mentally or physically draining, but it will kind of make up for it in the fact that, you know, you, you're going to gain this rewarding feeling with what it is that you do. Again, I'm seeing like purposeful, purposeful work. Now with the study card, you're going to have to study to get into whatever it is that you decide to get into. You know, you can't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to go do this. You know, there's levels that you have to kind of qualify to reach. You know, you won't be able to jump into any given field. It requires lots of studying and learning and testing, you know. And in fact, I feel like it's going to teach you a lot. Like you're going to be learning a lot. And... um yeah, I feel like there, there's this willingness as well to want to learn as much as you can about the field that you're within. Now, the knighthood card is about protection. It's safeguarding and looking after others. And with the tree card, I feel like you will grow so much within a field um, to really make a name for yourself. You know, trees are strong. They give us life. They represent wisdom and knowledge as well as healing and history, right? So the kind of field that you're going to go in has been around for a really long time. You know, it's not like you're doing some completely new 
job or new life purpose. This is something that's been around for a while. Um, so yeah, this is what I get for you guys. If you do want to plan a better year than the one that you've just had, then October 31st, I put up the pre-orders for your complete 29 ebook guide with a video that goes into the entire year of 2019. Um, all links are going to be at my website and links can be found in the information box just below this video. So thank you so much for um, watching and let me know in the comments down below what you feel that your life mission might be. And remember that you know, you have all of the magic that you need right within you. So much love and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye. Hi, hello to all of you who selected option number seven. So with this reading, you can layer it to your astrological birth chart, which you can get totally free of charge at www.astro.com. And what I mean by layer it is that I have incorporated astrology within this reading. Just trial and error. We'll see how it works. You can let me know in the comments down below. Um, but what I mean by layer it for you is that, for example, you have Pluto as your planet. So looking to see where in your chart Pluto falls could give you a little bit of added insight, as well as looking at your second house and Taurus energy, seeing where... Um, where Taurus falls and what sign falls on your second house. That could give you a bit more of a personal message as to what it is that you do um, for your life missions work or your career. So what I do feel with this option is that, you know, there is definitely a desire to obtain some sort of wealth or security or stability, okay? Um, because Pluto is obviously in the second house, okay? Um, and Pluto is this obsession point. It's something that we very much want. But I also feel with this option that in order to obtain what it is that you want, you're going to obtain it with or through others. So Aquarius is this networking and friendship sign, okay? This is about working on building something as part of a group or a network. Relationships are going to be key to obtaining wealth in this lifetime, to create that financial freedom or that financial stability that you seek. Okay, so being of service to others, connecting with people, that is going to be like definitely linked to your life mission or your career in this lifetime. There's an emphasis on security, there's an emphasis on stability, and maybe even family. And the more that you try and go it alone, the harder things will become. Okay, and it's not the universe trying to be mean, it's just that they're saying that you have to join up with others. I mean, we do also have the communal living, okay, with the uh, Aquarius, and both communal living and Aquarius, you know, they're, they're very much entwined by nature, and with the orphan card as well, you know, there could be a strong a strong feeling of going alone, not feeling like you have the support that you need. But what you're supposed to do in this lifetime is to join with others. And I feel strongly with that, you know, to build your own family, connecting with like-minded souls to create your own little family of friends. You could earn through working online, which I feel very apparent with the, the changing of times and with this generation. You know, it's about becoming innovative. You know, you might even work freelance or on commission or something. There's an element of income changing, okay? This in inconsistency, you know, money is not going to be like a wage or a salary because it's sporadic with, with Pluto, okay, and with Aquarius, which is why working online, being freelance, you know, working, I don't know, on, on software because that's very technological, that's very Aquarius and it's also something that's tangible which is second house or just inventing new things, new content for your audience. You might be a manager of creative talent and so your income depends upon your uh, the, the people that you're managing, right? So you, you gain a percentage of what they make. You have to rely on someone else to, to earn your resources. There's a sharing of resources that comes through with this option. 
you could be living a very fast paced lifestyle with the chariot you know you might travel here and there with what it is that you do you know this is leadership and you know being in full control over something you know with what it is that you do do as seen with pluto the leadership card as well as the chariot so i mean i feel as though networking is very important with your life path or um your career in this lifetime you could be a talent uh i don't know what you want to call them like people who spot talent and then manage them um you could be a manager of like youtubers or something like that and so there's a lot of like it's a lot of hard work right it's a lot of hard work um but i mean you could as well looking at this from a completely different perspective you could be a spiritual teacher, you know, helping people reach a higher level of consciousness, awakening them with the Pluto and Aquarius. And then with the Hierophant, you know, you will be dependent upon others. You're going to be dependent upon society, your network to make your income. Again, I'm totally vibing on the fact that when it comes to money, there's a shared resource here. And I mean, wherever you are right now, the card says it all, that you are on the right path and that you should continue with what it is that you're doing right now because that will ultimately lead you to new opportunities that will give you the financial freedom, you know, to be able to work for yourself, to inspire and change, you know, the life of others in some way. And with the five of pentacles, this could be about getting funding for what it is that you want to do. Maybe even starting up a GoFundMe or a Patreon or something. You might be interested in non-profit work or getting involved with charity works. Again, I feel like you need to build a network of people to support you and what it is that you wish to do in this lifetime. Um, so this is just what I'm vibing with, with this option. If you want to plan a better future, you know, a better year than last year or the year that we're already in, then October 31st, I put up the pre-orders for the complete ebook guide uh, for 2019 alongside the video that comes with that that goes into the entire year of 2019. All links will be um, just below this, this information box um, here. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think your life mission is below the video. And until next time, remember that you have all of the magic that you need right within you. So much love and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.